again. My name is Rebel and I'm the Rebel Reseller. And today I'm going to be doing my what sold for last week, which will be Monday through Thursday, January 30th through February 2nd. It was a good week. This week, y'all, if you're feeling low sale numbers, I'm with you. This has been terrible. Ebbs and flows, right? Ebbs and flows. It's February for me, historically, is like the worst month of the year. It's short. People are waiting on income tax checks. They're still dealing with Christmas bills and, you know, just all of this stuff. Bad economy, everything. But February has always historically been my worst month. But it still gets disheartening. I'm listing, 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 cross-listing. Um, and this four days that I'm going to share with you, I had quite a few sales on Poshmark, so I'm really focusing on there. Um, if you're not in my Facebook group, go join it. We talk about a lot of things over there. Yes, there's a lot of plush, but we talk about other things. But I made a post this week because it just, um, I realized not everybody, um, has been able to get the excluded listings. If you're in the new eBay International program, there's just some things you know personally that you do not want to ship internationally. Um, and I didn't realize you actually have to click some buttons to be able to see excluded listings when you're going, I mean, excluded countries. If I said that wrong, forgive me. I always think one thing and say something else, but if you're wanting to exclude certain listings, from certain countries, you can go into your excluded countries. And it's like, right, if you set it up properly, which I showed in my Facebook group how to do it, um, you can go in and exclude certain things from countries. Like, I do not ship Levi's because European Union will, um, you'll get a Vero if you have it open to European Union. Um, and I, I've heard there's other countries also that they're starting to deal with. Perfumes, we know we can't ship them internationally, and knives. There's probably a whole bunch more. If you know of other things that definitely shouldn't be shipped internationally, add it down in the comments so we all can learn a little bit from that too. Because um, I may have something that I shouldn't have opened. And I've seen the posts where eBay is sending messages saying, you know, we've removed this from the international shipping program. Um, but I've also seen posts where people are saying they're getting Vero's. So, just, if you don't want it shipped internationally, and it may just be you don't want to ship breakables, you don't want to, you know, ship electronics, any of that stuff. If you, if that's your business model, then go in and exclude all countries. You can set it up where nothing will go international. So, go to my Facebook group. All right, let's get started. We'll start with Mercari. Um, I have two cells on there to share. This was from Fisher Price Loving Family. What's funny is I bought a box of dollhouse stuff. Some of it was Barbie. I listed the fence pieces that go to one of the dollhouses. It's like an add-on feature from 1997. So this is the dream Loving Family stuff. Um, sold instantly. And then I realized in the box that I actually had the gate. So I just listed it on eBay. If you're new to my channel, I list everything on eBay, and then I use List Perfectly to cross-list to the other platforms. Um, it's been listed a little while. I finally got an offer on Mercari for $7, and I went ahead and accepted it. Cowboy Bob Orton. This is a wrestling figure. It's vintage. It's one of those rubbery. It's not really jointed. Um, eight inches. I picked it up at an estate sale. I want to say I paid two or three dollars for him. He sold on Mercari for fifteen dollars. Now Posh, I had let's see, two, four, six to share with you. So Posh was really great last week. All of the other platforms, I had a few sales in um, this week. Hardly any. It's like all of the platforms them are very, very light in sales. Um, this is United Colors of Benetton. You know I had to pick this shirt up because it was purple. Not my size, but just it catches my attention. Sold for $16 on Posh. 
Calvin Klein Flare Fit Women's Jeans, $18. Quacker Factory. I find this around in our area quite often. It does very well for me. Um, just a very popular brand. Um, these were like embellished. They had like little sequin looking things on it. It sold for $21. Levi's. High rise skinny jeans sold for $15 on Posh. Distressed, distressed. Holes. Holy. And then this Fisher Price Loving Family Dollhouse Apple Tree sold for $22. It also is from, I think, the Dream Series. And then Play School Weevils. I sold clothes. I sold hard toys. Um, I, at, at one point, had all of these individually listed. I'm trying to move away from that and doing, in certain things, small lots. Um, these have been listed for quite a while on eBay, but I don't think they have been listed very long on Posh. They sold for $27. And then Etsy, I had two sales. This is a Disney Woozle from Winnie the Pooh. It sold for $19.95. And this is from my online high bid auction that I bought almost two years ago. Um, these are the Sugar Bear from the cereal. Um, advertising plush. I think one of them was supposed to make sounds, but it didn't. One of them, one of them was going to be higher dollar. One of them was going to be like three or four dollars. I just opted to put the two of them together. They sold on Etsy for $29.95. And then eBay. Homco. My love-hate relationship with them. I, I bought two pieces of a nativity set. They were the full white. Um, this one, it says, had the tiny little chip on the ear. Sold for $15.25. Play school. Another play school toy. This is Tubby Turtle. A vintage toy. I was kind of surprised when I saw the comps on this when I originally listed it. Um, it's been listed a while. I'm all about trying to get my sales going. You know, I talk a lot of times about, um, I have a set amount I want to make each week. I am not there right now, but if my sales are a couple hundred dollars short, the first, you know, I check every morning. I check it my seven days and then it kind of tells me, do I, you know, need to get some extra sales? Am I on track? Anything like that. Um, and I just do that so that, you know, I can get to those goals. I have pennies in most of the stuff that I purchase, usually at least a dollar or less, especially when I get them from the bins. So I'm okay taking a $20 offer on something that's been listed a while and I didn't pay very much for. It gets it gone. I need to bump my numbers up. I don't know why that got moved down. This was a huge plush. Best Made Toys. I like that brand. This was a 36 inch long dog plush, definitely oversized box, sold for $22.45. Warmies, something, um, unless it's clean, um, I don't pick them up, and I, I think I'm going to move away from them. I just am. I think they're heavy. They don't sell usually for very much. Um, this one was just a little bit different animal than I've seen in the past. It sold for $17.95. Lego Duplo. I'm pretty sure I got these at the bins. Um, I've been plowing through a lot of my bins bags, trying to get a lot of the smalls listed. Anytime you see the Lego Duplo train tracks, I think they come in like a black or dark gray and then this light gray. I do really well with them. Um, just definitely something to watch for. If you have vehicles and stuff, trains to go with it, a lot of times I sell them separately. Um, so for $22.45. Monkey Pod wooden tray. I'm sure I picked up a pile of um, these wooden pieces at an estate sale. Probably $3. I'm pretty sure it was my favorite little one we like to go to on Wednesdays. 
um, this one sold for $11.66 and there was no more wooden pieces in that storage tote so I guess I've sold it all at this point which is good Arizona men's jeans these were listed when we first started listing clothes I think Robert said in 2021 we started doing clothes so they've been listed a really long time got an offer grabbed it $12 Little Caesars I don't think this one was from my high bid estate sale I have all of them in certain shelf all everything went in that shelf so I can remember that it was for that estate sale um, this is Little Caesars plush finger puppet from 1990 sold for $8.96 coffee cup I think almost every watt sold I've been having one recently this is the old pottery company pink ceramic type coffee mug sold for $13.45 bitten women's denim jacket that's a Sarah Jessica Parker line um, it was size extra large which was good the larger sizes tend to move quicker for us it sold for $21.31. Calico Cat Plush from Toys R Us. Larger, 18 inches long. Again, if you're selling plush, I highly encourage you to make like your last picture with a tape measure. I added this little mat that's in my listing area. Sometimes I remember to pull it back. I just go ahead and leave it. If it's the first picture, yeah. It's fine but um, it sold for $22.45 Boyd's bear this is a mohair wool plush six inch really small pretty sure it was jointed I picked this up again I'm sure I picked up um, three mohair bears at my favorite estate sale I'm pretty sure I paid a dollar each this bear sold for $12.10 Again, if you're new to my channel, I don't do free shipping. So when I say somebody purchased something for that price, they also paid shipping. Um, this is a viewer sale, so thank you so much, Stacy. This is a white rabbit. I'm pretty sure it went to a book because the manufacturer was Public Publications International. Um, sold for nine dollars and ninety-five cents. Applause Bear. This is Grandma Bessie and Grandpa Sam from 1986. They were just adorable. Pretty sure I remember picking these up at an estate sale. Um, they've been listed a while. Again, if I get an offer, it doesn't bother me if, you know, it seems to be a lowball offer. I go back in. I check comps again. I see, you know, what other people are selling it for or listing it for. I'm pretty sure this was one of those that somebody else had them listed for even less than my offer. Um, and you see that a lot of times. Some people would consider that the race to the bottom. But, you know, I don't feel like, you know, holding on to these to try to get a higher price was worth it. $25 was an excellent offer on them. So they're gone. Kim Possible, I picked this up at one of my recent estate sales I shared with you guys. Um, picked up a lot of smalls, a lot of little figures. This was um, Kim Possible, I think his name was Ron. Yeah, it's there. Ron, these had like magnetic hands. He had a little stain on his face. I did put that in my listing. Sold for $13.45 very quickly. Russ Puckers Pig Plush 8 inch. I do really well with pigs. I guess a lot of people, there's collectors for everything. It sold for $13.45. Wranglers, we pick up a lot of Wranglers. $15.94 for a pair of Wranglers. You can't beat that. Easy. Clothes are so easy. Yes, they take a little bit more to do the measurements and everything, um, but they're easy to list, easy to ship. Well-built bread pan. These are the replacement pan and paddle 
we actually bought the bread maker and it had an extra one. I want to say we paid $5 for all of it, an extra pan and paddle. Um, I This is the second one to sell. These sold for $22.45. Definitely check comps on bread makers. You see them at oh, every yard sale almost, it seems. Some of the pans and especially the paddles sell very quickly. Wallace Berry, this is a cute little hippo plush. That tie that you see on him was actually paper. It's from 1978 and it still had its paper tag um, tie. $13.45. Dandy, I pick up a lot of it. Um, this is before Valentine's Day, so good quick sell. Um, said love, kiss, you just kind of could put the little heart on different areas. Um, sold for $8.96. Paw Patrol. Um, I didn't put Cake Topper on there. Usually with these small little figures, put Cake Topper on there also because people buy them to decorate birthday cakes. Um, had them listed for a while. Got an offer of $9.99. Accepted it. Lego minifigure, still selling. Still got quite a few of them though. $8.96. License plates. I picked like a dozen out of a huge lot that we bought at the Highway 127 sale. Um, this is probably, I think, maybe the fourth one I've sold. It sold for $11.66. The rule is um, in Tennessee, and maybe I think I read it somewhere else. Um, your plates have to be three years or older. We just had a major plate change here, so I don't think there'd be any issue selling a lot of, um, you know, right now people are still replacing them out. So probably by next year, everybody will have changed over to the new plates and then those will also be, you know, able to be sold. Geppetto, I picked this up at that recent estate sale, bought a bunch of hand puppets and some folk manas hand puppets and mini um, finger puppets. Paid $3 for this. It sold very quickly for $11.45. Aurora Baby, this was a little rattle plush, sold for $9.37. This is the second time selling this handkerchief. The first person bought it and said changed mine and sent it back. When you get those types of returns, um, I don't give them, I used to, but now I realize you don't have to. I don't give them their original shipping. I do offer free returns, so I am gonna pay to have this back. Um, and I've, it sold very quickly again. Um, but don't give them their original shipping back. You don't have to, especially when it's changed mine, didn't like, anything like that. You are going to get hit with re hit, having to refund um, initial shipping if it's an INAD or defective or anything like broken. But for the ones where they just changed their mind, nope. This is a, I bought these at an estate sale. I bought a whole pile of vintage bandanas. This person was a craft person. Um, none of, they, they were all, some of them still had their original tags with them. Um, you could tell it had never been used. They were still very rigid, like they'd never been washed. Um, and I've sold a couple of them. This one sold for $15 though. It's warm craft bandana with a Southwest tribal thing made in the USA. Oops, coffee. Kelly Toy, um, Gray Bear, the little heart um, had baseball theme to it. So for $14.95. That tells me that I had ended it, did a sale similar, and it sold before my sale started again. Ho Sung, I find these um, monkey puppets quite often. There's also a small plush that looks very similar. Sometimes it has like baby clothes on it. Um, this one was from 1994. It sold for $17.95. Dakin Clown Lion Plush. He is one of those pinch, and I also use the word hugger. You know, you squeeze their back. 
their arms open up and you could um, attach them to something. From 1985, sold for $11.08. I picked this up at the recent estate sale. I did pay $5 for it, um, but it sold quickly. I think the same day I listed it for $15. Spark Create Imagine. This is just one of those small plush that has a rattle in it and it's like a grabber. Usually I use that word. I didn't use that. You know, so a child, a baby can hold on to it. Um, sold for $8.96. I pick these up. There's Spark Create Imagine. Fisher Price has some. Um, Garanimals has some. Anytime I find them, I grab them. This was from that recent estate sale also. This is a Webkins O copy that I picked up at a recent estate sale where I got all those smalls. Um, it did not have its code. It just seemed unique and an animal I hadn't seen before. Um, so I went ahead and picked it up. I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for it. It sold again very quickly for $11.66. All right, another pair of jeans. These were a Rough Rider jeans by Circle T. Never had heard of it. Obviously vintage. Um, got a best offer of $35, which I just went ahead and accepted because sometimes I feel like if I start accepting a lot of offers, I'll get more offers. I'll get boosted in the algorithm. I'm not quite sure if that's true, um, but sometimes I just feel like when you do that, you just kind of get more people looking at your stuff. You get somehow more views, stuff like that. And $35 for a pair of jeans is excellent. And then this Squishmallow. My love, hate relationship with Squishmallows. This is one of the larger ones, 16 inch. Pretty sure he was from the lot that I bought nine Squishmallows at a yard sale for $50. Um, and I've already sold several of them and I've made my money back. Um, this seal, Isis, the seal sold for $44.95. And he was large enough, I'm pretty sure I put him in either the 16 by 12 by 8 box or the one that I have that's a little bit art larger. It's like 18 by something. But I tend to buy the keep those two boxes in stock because a lot of my larger plush and some of my lots I end up putting in those boxes. Now, the eBay shipping supplies with the coupon does have the 16 by 12 by 8 box. Um, so if you haven't used your coupon yet, you might want to go into that, especially if you're going to be selling larger plush. I don't like to put large plush in poly bags. You know, some, but not a whole lot of them. And then my best sell, pair of jeans, pair of jeans. Definitely keep your eyes out for this brand, Rocky Mountain. We've done really well. We, find, we found probably three or four pairs of them since we started doing clothes. Um, these were a smaller size, 26, which is, I guess, comparable to a three. Sold for $55.63. All right. I've got packages to still do. It's early morning. That's why I've got my coffee here. Um... Sometimes, when I got sick in January, I slept in a lot. You know, I'm normally an early bird, but now you can tell I'm better because five o'clock this morning, my eyes popped open. I was listing by probably 5.10. That's just first thing I do is go and do my listings for each morning. So you can tell I'm better. No sleeping in for this girl. But then again, I complain when I do accidentally sleep in till 6.30 because it messes up my morning. I have a schedule. And if I don't start listing till 6.30, it just throws the rest of my day off too. Can't please me. Can't. All right. Let's get to work. Bye.